the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast, live. You're down with Rappaport? Yes, I am. 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 You better tune in, I am Rappaport.com. Cause every single podcast, you know he drops bombs. I seen him on set, a seasoned vet with true talent. Catch him on his way to CrossFit, rocking the new balance. He asked me to do the track, cause he know I rhyme elite. But I'm just waiting for the Robert De Niro line of the week. Breakfast of champions, toasted bagel, cream cheese, and locks. This is I am Rappaport, the show never stops. You might catch him out in public, stretching his knees. But if you don't listen to the show, yo, wiggle, please. Wiggle, please. This is the Rappaport Podcast. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, this is the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast. Can you hold that, Mr. Monetti? Yes, yes, yes. And we are in uh, Austin, Austin Texas. Texas, live, south by southwest. And I have had a tumultuous last few days. Absolutely. <clears throat> Sunday. No, Saturday. I... Flew to Las Vegas, and and I've mentioned Las Vegas on the I Am Rapport Stereo podcast before. It is such a shithole. Mm-hmm. It's such a dreck community. It's such a a, a a a cesspool of fuckery and shame and low self worth. Right. And I swear, I think they put something in the air in the uh, in the in the air conditioning in the hotels. Every time I go there, I leave, I'm sick. I don't gamble. I don't leave the room. I do whatever business I need to do and get the fuck out of there. Right. And this weekend, because I was in Vegas during daylight saving, spring forward, I got so thrown off. Because in Vegas, of course, time doesn't stop. Time doesn't change. They don't celebrate daylight savings. No. Their clock doesn't change. It's so... F- it's. It's such a shithole. Word. Time stands still. That's right. So Sunday I flew back. I was stuck in the Las Vegas airport for five and a half dreadful hours. When I got home, my clocks hadn't been changed. I was all fucked up. Bad news, man. And then the next morning I had to get on a... uh, 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 No, the next night I took a red eye to New York. Right. And on the red eye, I took a, uh, what are those sleeping things called? Ambien. Ambien. You, you want some drug shit. And some rosé. You're lucky you here, motherfucker. Well, <clears throat> I got through the red eye and made it to my workout class. I slept the whole way, but I was still an hour off. Right. What up, what up? How you what up, what up? How you feel? Good. good. You. Looking good. You're looking good. All right. Okay, okay. Everything's good. So then, uh. Nice southern ladies. So then, um. By the time I got to New York, I was so discombobulated. And then this earlier in the week, I went to work with the great. Woody Allen. Fantastic. How did that go, man? So much fun. I, you told us about the method and how easy it is for He's you the actors best. I love him. To get the best out of you, cats. So that's always a good thing. It was short but sweet. So um, that was beautiful. And then the plan was for me to meet you, Jordan Winter and Miles Davis. J Dub. The Asian sound guy uh, in Austin, Texas. And I got on a 9 p.m. flight and I got in a cab at 7 p.m. It actually took longer than expected to get to JFK. While I was in the cab, pulling into the terminal, about five minutes out, because you you know you 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 look to pay the guy. I realized I didn't have my fucking mm. wallet in my. After I had already took me an hour and fifteen minutes to take to get to JFK. I got one question to ask you. What? Is. Everybody on the planet does the pat down before they leave their apartment and this is so unusual for you who's always meticulous right who's always on time yes <laughs> you didn't do the pat down I, I don't know man i think what happened was in vegas 
I was so fucked up by the, the the time change and then the flying and then the the ambient and then and then and then yeah. the, the, the red Drugs. eyes. Drugs, motherfucker. That's what it is. And I and I'm it in the cab, off. freaking out. And I and 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 it's no no stereotype. It was a Middle Eastern cab driver, and I said, "You fuck! I can't believe I left my way." He's like, "You must look. You must look." I'm not trying. I don't do a good accent with that. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that 7-Eleven so, shit. So so so. Yeah, like. <clears throat> Let me finish. Yeah. <laughs> so I we get to the airport and I go, it's not in here, man. The cat the, the wallet isn't in here. We gotta drive the fuck back. Right. To my apartment. And you fucked up the whole trip. And you're out in Austin by yourself. And it's hot ass muggy weather. Me and J Dub walking around this shit last night, trying to get a foothold. And then so last night I had to I had to if if there was a way to I L O myself, what would you say? I would have said, "You dumb fuck! You forgot your fucking wallet! You hook nosed Jew cock sucker! Don't you know about the three point tap, you dumb fuck? <laughs> if there was a way for me to I L O myself, that would be it. That would have been the I L O. Mm. You missed your fucking flight! You dumb cocksucker, you! <laughs> exactly. Exacto mundo. What kind of a fucking asshole misses his own fucking flight? Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> and you didn't come on that trip to Argentina, right? I didn't come. <clears throat> the only other time I had a flight where I missed out was when we were on our little guide trip bonding trip with some some brooklyn cats mm -hmm. the brothers and we got to the airport and i realized that my passport had expired Dang. and i'd say that was probably the only time in my life of having any sort of credibility and stature i tried to get on the plane i said to the lady at the check-in i think it was argentina air or point i said have you ever seen higher learning <laughs> have you ever seen copland use all she that. didn't see that did you ever see I did four lines on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, nothing. You didn't see that. Yeah, it, it, she 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 didn't know who the fuck I was. And I'm asking everyone else, hey, do, do you yeah. ever see Friends? Remember the yeah. cop? Yeah. I'm him. I was I was so desperate to, to get, get on, the on plane. that. I was trying anything I can. And then finally, I remember one lady was like, I know exactly who you are. Mm. She said, if I was to let you on the plane, and I, I'm not, you wouldn't be able to get back in the country. Right, because you ain't got shit on you. So I missed that flight. Then I finally got to sleep last night with myself in my sorrows, in my shame. Right. And uh, I got on my flight this morning, made it to Austin. You made it. And You're since here. I've been to Austin, what did I do? As soon as we got to the Starbucks, we have our little Starbucks, our little pregame amble. I plug in my cell phone. We leave the Starbucks. I'm drinking my drink 20 minutes away. Cell phone lounging where you left it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what's it's wrong. It's the ambient, motherfucker. Stop taking shit. Like I, that. I don't take it. I took it one time to fly. Yeah. What you think that is, man? You think that's some some good shit? It's fucking with your brain chemistry, man. Drink a juice. Listen. Anyway, we made it to South by Southwest. March 17th, the birthday of Ruck, Sean Price. We giving you shout outs. I woke up uh, on the birthday of Sean Price and I was looking at the radio stations in New York. Me and too. I know eventually I think they did it, but they didn't do a make a big to do for uh, 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 a part of the hip hop family that succumbed, passed away. And 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 and, 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 and they give him a little a little blink, a little tidbit on his birthday. Right. And it's supposed to be where hip hop lives. lives. Hot ninety seven, right. one hundred five point one. No matter what level <laughs> artist he was, he was part of the hip hop family. And he was there before all your whole the, the entire staff of your radio station was there. Word up, both of your radio stations. Yep. So he he was supposed to lead in and early in the morning when the right. most traffic. And you say, well, our listeners don't care. Well, then why don't you make them care and right. place? Why don't you why don't you learn them? Man, you said it, boy. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's it. Hot 97, where hip-hop lives. Right. Right. 
where, where hip hop lives. So that's all encompassing, right? It doesn't just mean the tight jean guy with the fucking weird haircut. No. We're talking about Kumo D too. Right. <laughs> Everything. Our audience. How do you know exactly what your audience? The reason why the older people stop listening is because all you play is the bullshit. Why can't it be for everybody? Right. It's rap. It's hip hop. Culture. Boogie Down Bronx. Come on, man. Rick Patino. Oh man. Three more kids came out and said they were at the the. the, the they were at the whole Louis, stroll. The Louisville party. The Louisville freak off parties for recruits. Right. And you have no idea, Mr. Patino. Huh? Well, you freaked off in Applebee's. You, you know who I'm excited to. You know, I. You know, we, we we love basketball. We don't. We're not big on college basketball. You fuck that college shit. You know, who I'm excited to see a uh, coach. One of my favorite coaches. Oh, Tom Izzo. <laughs> He's like the Joe Pesci of, of college coach. basketball coaches. They tell you play three two. I tell you, I tell you two three, you prick, yeah. He's saying this to the kids. You're getting a two three. I didn't say get in the box in one, you little prick. What? What'd you say? Get in the fucking locker room. Get in the fucking locker room. Yeah. That's him. That's Tom Izzo. That's Tom Izzo. Coach of the Mich Michigan State. Yeah. Mateen. Spartans. He, he coached Mateen Cleaves? Yeah. Mateen, get the fuck over. What the fuck are you wearing, Mateen? You wearing a fucking jersey to the game? Wait, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> Tom Izzo's. He, he, he's he, mobbed out. Yeah, H to the Izzo. H to the Izzo. Word. I don't know. I can't call it. Yeah, we can't call it. What, what I know one of my favorite. I wish the Roots were playing. I feel like the Roots should be performing in South by Southwest. Yo, <clears throat> we were talking about this. We we, we talk. If you haven't heard the the Black Thought, J Period mixtape, all James Brown beats. Do yourself a favor and download it. Yes. Listening to that dude perform, listen to him MC, and seeing him with the Roots is a special treat. That's right. Performing. They get down, and you know now we're so accustomed to seeing them on Jimmy Fallon. That's 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 light work for them. Right. But when right. they get down and do it, Black Thought as an MC and Questlove as a drummer, when they're really in their shit, it's funk and woo. it's undeniable. The beats are irresistible. Banging. It's it's performance art. Banging. That's why it's uh, loved around the world. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen with hip hop. I can't call it. <laughs> it's upsetting. It's concerning. At le at, like I say, at least we saw the good shit. We saw the good shit. Right. Uh, Our standards are really high. High. Yeah, because we're walking around. You, 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 you said. Uh, What's up? Like we're like the we're like um we're like a uh, Roy, Roy Scheider, Schneider, Roy Scheider, and uh, Robert Shaw, in, in Jaws. <laughs> we're like the old cats trying to hold it together while the young sharks are trying to take the fucking boat down. <laughs> Robert Shaw and Roy Scheider. Yeah. <laughs> That's who we are. <laughs> Let's give a shout out to the Rapper Pack. Uh, April 1st. I hope some people show up, man. We, I mean, we're almost half sold out, but, yo, we're screening True Romance, live music, guests. I don't know who they are. I'm not going to lie to you, right. but I'm going to come up with something. Right. Toby Morse of H two O, the All Star Toby Morse, live band, live podcast, screening who, True Romance. Who the hell else is doing this? Nobody. We got our championship rings as we should. Ring Soft ass T shirts are available. District lines. Forward slash. I am Rappaport. I don't know. This ain't no Don King. Swindle shit. No, we're not swindling anything yet. Uh, except for your yeah. girl. What? Yeah. I didn't say anything about that. Teeny boppers, man. Yeah, okay. We're old guys. Yeah, old sharks. Robert Shaw. <laughs> the Robert Shaw. The I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast starring Robert Shaw and Roy Schneider. <laughs> So we're in the streets of uh, South by Southwest. I gotta tell you, this is not a. Uh, these are not streets for podcasting. Yeah. Everybody thinks they're fucking uh, the next Eddie Vedder out here. There's like nine bands playing at once. <laughs> Eddie Vedder. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Bunch of fake ass Kurt Loaders out here. 
<laughs> Kurt Loader, Kurt Cobain. Yeah, everybody's out here putting up flyers and yeah, NPR radio. Yeah, there's the NPR radio people. We should we should ask them what they're doing. Let me see what they're doing. Hi, how you doing? You guys are with NPR. Yeah, it's Michael Rappaport. How are you? W what's going on? We're, we're uh, what are you guys doing out here for NPR? I think we're doing the same thing you are. Are you actually putting on a show right now, or are you? We're pot. I can't. I can't tell you all my secrets. <laughs> Trade no, secrets. What's your name? What's happening right now? Audie Cornish. And, and so, what do you guys do for NPR? Are you, is this a pod? I, I like NPR radio. Is yeah. it NPR podcast? Yes, we're on a new show called All Things Considered. I know All oh, Things Considered. Yeah. So, what are you guys trying to accomplish with All Things Considered? This out of South by South. Tell me your angle, because we're we're news people that we were, we're news people. No, no, no. We're news people that don't fact check. That's and right. And I know NPR fact checks. Fact checks. <laughs> so, give me something. Like, what's going on? Give me a scoop. Uh, we don't have a scoop. Oh, we did find some artists we like last night. Don't tell them. Oh, yeah, that's uh, true. What, what? Don't tell them. Don't tell the secrets about This is my music producer, Monica. Monica, how many, how many Eddie Vedder impersonators have you seen so far? Is it that kind of crowd? <laughs> I don't think so. This is more the high-waisted shorts crowd. Oh, because I heard that down the street the hipster fucks were performing. Yeah. It's a band. <laughs> No, so you don't have no information to share us? Come on, you're NPR. I mean, you gotta have something. Mark Marin. I don't, we're gonna interview. We're gonna interview country singer Marin Morris tonight. Who, 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 who's that? Yeah. No, no, no. I am not going to share because what we're doing here is scouting. We're scouting for the year. Artists that we find okay. here are people we feature for the next 12 months. Oh, All right. Wow. And that is how we set it up. How do we get a feature on NPR? How does the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast get featured on NPR? Let's see. First, you need to make a t-shirt with your own face on it. You like this, right? Something subtle. Something subtle. Something subtle. Something subtle. <laughs> Like, what, what? This is making my day right now. I am such a fan. Like, I cannot even believe you're in front of me. This what do I got to do to get on NPR? Like, I, I mean. Oh, like, recite lines from Boston Public or something. Like, I got it all for you. Right. I want to go deep Kick some Boston the, Public. Like, the, I, got, I got it all for you. I'm just trying to get on NPR. Like, my father, you know how impressed my father would be? You know that my Jewish grandmother will kick out of her grave to hear me on NPR? I'm impressed by this piece of equipment you're carrying around. This Have is you never heard of the, the I Am Rapport Serial podcast? Um... Well, I was working my way through my podcast stream, getting. Who, who's your podcast? Like, who are your top three podcasts? Top three. Um, have you ever heard Denzel Washington is the greatest actor in the world? I've never heard of it. I never heard it. It's all about Denzel Washington, right? Yes, but it breaks down every single movie he's ever done. I think he's. Really? I think he's the greatest. Everybody's been on it. Fantastic podcast. Okay. okay. So what else do you like? Uh, of course, I like NPR. Invisibilia. Invisibilia is a great podcast about science of the brain. Okay. I'm a big fan of that. And what else? Uh, NPR's Pop Culture Happy Hour, which I'm on. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 cool. Gotta check us out. Yeah, yeah you gotta check out the Iron Rap Wars Serial Podcast. We might, we probably leading you in the iTunes uh, charts this week. That's right. Maybe. We might be. I'm just playing. <laughs> I haven't done my full show. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> Once I start telling everyone I'm here, then I may, may bump you off the... Uh, the rankings. <laughs> so, so, so what, what, what's, what's your podcast, the podcast you're on called? Uh, it's called All Things Considered. All right. This is an All, thing, all Things Considered I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast. Semi mashup. Yeah. This is a semi mashup. Yeah, this is a crossover. This all right. So, uh, this is a, cl a, cl yeah. a crossover. Say from NPR News in your name and Th then. This is Michael Rappaport of the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast. And I'm here with my co host, G Monetti. And you are now listening to. An NPR, all things considered, I am Rapport Stereo Podcast mashup. Love it. That's a fucking mashup. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say fuck on NPR? No. Nah. You guys need to grow up. No, seriously, you yo, you gotta grow up. NPR. You can pay our FCC fines. I'm all about the. Rap. You guys are. In, no, you're. In, you're in the you're in the big boy stuff. When you're FCC laws, that's fine. We don't have any FCC yeah. laws. You go raw dog without you're a bag. Mavericks. You're Mavericks. I like it. The I Am Rappaport podcast is sponsored by Casper Mattresses. Casper.com. It's an award-winning sleep startup. Go to Casper.com. Fifty dollars off purchase of any size mattress. Put in the code Rappaport. R A P A P O R T. Casper Mattress in New York City. You can return the mattress within 100 days. That's a guarantee. 
the, the bed will be delivered between two to five days anywhere in the United States and Canada. Same day delivery in New York City. Uh, a bike messenger could bring it. New technology, the bed will come in a fucking box. Casper.com, the promo code is Rappaport. You get $50 off the mattress. We do not plug, we do not support, we do not take sponsorship from anything we have not tried and we are not passionate about 450%. This is the I Am Rappaport podcast and we fuck with Casper.com. Yeah, let's go. Time to run. Time to go. We're up. We're up. We're live. We're coming live and direct from South by Southwest. Is it film festival? Music festival? It's just the South by Southwest festival. It's a... The Gringo Mandingo has arrived in Austin, Texas. Let's just put it that way. That's right. The fucking Gringo Mandingo is in uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, And I'm in here. We're at the TuneIn Studios. If you hear some background noise, we're out outside and what what you know the South by Southwest Film Festival has a has a good reputation for being a party place. We just got to town. We can't confirm or deny what it is yet. Where is this place? In Austin, Texas. Where is what? You forgot to mention where we were. I said Austin, Texas, didn't I say that? No, you didn't, my uh, friend. Introduce yourself. This is G Monetti, G Moody, the black Ed McMahon. Of the I Am Rappaport podcast. So, G Monetti. What's the deal? This baseball player, what's his name? LaRoche. LaRoche. He's a, he's a, he plays baseball for the Chicago White Sox. <clears throat> and as you know, we don't, if you heard that dinging, that's my, that's, that's my championship ring. That's the chip. Uh, the rings are, they're, they're splendid. Their jewels are shining, the red, the black, and the green. The jewels look good. The I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast, no facts checked on one side, and wigger please on the other side. So we're, we're, rocking the, we're rocking the rings. That's right. We're flying our colors and our t-shirts. Proudly. So this player, baseball player, LaRoche, he uh, was in the final year of a contract with the Chicago White Sox, mm-hmm. and... It was for $13 million and $13.5 million, and he decided to back out of playing and essentially retire because his son was asked to no longer... They didn't go into the details of what the rules were, mm-hmm. but this is a, a player who would bring his son... It was a part of the team. He'd be around all the time. He had a locker. He had a locker. His name is Drake LaRoche. Mm-hmm. I think that was where things got off track. Right. I agree. You, you, that's... Well, he didn't know that that name that name would sort of backfire, for, you know, later on in life. Anyway, obviously he's a dedicated father, but it's basically what happened was is the the Chicago White Sox said, "You, this is a corporation, this is a business environment, and we need to put a limit on how much your son is around." Yep. And instead of haggling back and forth, LaRoche decided to retire. What a dummy! Is, are we okay with that background noise, Miles? Okay, so the thing about this is $13.5 million. Now, what is your opinion about this? Nobody, I mean, you take your kid to the locker room like a one treat, day, a special two treat. days. Hey, I look, I play, I play baseball, check it out. But you want him there every day. And, you, and they went out on a limb to give you a locker for this little kid. So he can't be in the locker room every day. Why not? Guys walking around with their loafs out, literally unfolding the loaf. Right, a in little kid, room. a little kid shouldn't be in the locker room seeing all that. No, he shouldn't. <laughs> so I am in favor seeing all that. Seeing the, uh, I mean, there should be limits. It's a business right. place, a workplace. Right. If it, you can't bring your kid to Starbucks every day, you can't bring your kid to IBM every day. That's like, right. of course, you want to bring your kid to 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 set. I bring my son to set every. They don't even care about it anymore. Right. But 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 I'll bring them there if they want to come. But they can't come every day. They you know, it's a work environment, and 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 of course. You know, and then then they're saying, "Well, he's a great dad," and these other players are standing by him. How does that mean you're a great dad? Yeah, your son should be in school. 
Oh, this motherfucker don't even go to school? He's homeschooled. He shouldn't be around baseball players yeah. chewing tobacco and cursing. He in the locker room. He hearing all kind of shit. And I'm not saying this guy's not a good father. I don't know him. I'm sure he loves his kid. Obviously, right. he loves his kid. But he shouldn't be looked at some sort of martyr dad yeah. because it is. Yeah. And you're leaving 13 million on the table. How yeah. good of a dad are you? That little boy gonna need that money. Right. And also, now your son's never gonna be in a locker room again. <laughs> you defeated everything. You defeated <laughs> your own you defeated yeah. your own purpose. He's like, yo, I'm gonna take a stand. Little Drake's never and you now how do you think little Drake feels? He's in the middle of shit. Oh. He's never going to be in a locker room. He probably loved it. And he's going to blame you, LaRoche. You did it. <laughs> you kept him out of the locker room. Because you want to be Mr. Dad. Now you guys can play ball all you want Good every word. day on the beach. Yeah. And then when the money runs out, your fucking son, Drake, is going to be like, look what you did. You fucked us up, you dumb. <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't think this guy is some dad martyr. I don't think it's I'm appropriate to bring. This is a prof, this is a professional baseball. Yeah, he get mad and quit. And what does that show, little Drake? Yeah, winning winners never quit, and quitters never win. You're not yeah. winning Dad of the Year award. Right. right. Bruce you, Jenner will win Dad of the Year award before you win Dad of the Year award. Yeah, they got him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I I I. Uh, you know, I but everything turns Sox. into a story. Yeah. Everything turns into a story, man. I mean, if I'm, if I, let's say I'm in, like, I'm in my, 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 my trailer at work, and I, and I need to change, and I got to unfold the loaf mm -hmm. from one costume to another costume. And another actor got his boy up in there. Every day. So I have to go into the bathroom to unfold the loaf right. instead of changing in the... Right there. We're... we're and everybody's got kids. So what, what? you know some of them players got four or five kids. Right. What if they all want to bring their kids every day? But the real reality is no, nobody wants to bring their kids every day because most people know that it's inappropriate. That's right. Every day. Every day. All right. So the main reason why we came down to South by Southwest is because myself and Moody with a, with a, and a plethora of guests are going to be hosting live radio programming for TuneIn Radio. Now, I don't know if you know this, but TuneIn Radio has a 24-7 all I Am Rappaport stereo podcast mm. channel. Mm. That means 24 hours of I Am Rappaport stereo podcast. Now, you might, you might look at that as great, and other, might people, other people might look at that as torture. Right. And I don't care what you think, either way, it's there. I understand that it could be pleasure and pain. That's right. And and I, I personally think that if you want to really get ISIS to give up some information, you lock them in a room, pump up the fucking Iron Rapport Stereo podcast until they can't fucking breathe. Right. Word up. I think you don't need to waterboard. Just pump that. Lock these terrorist bastards up. And pump up episode ninety six on a loop, really loud. <laughs> the Brady Bash. It'll 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 make anyone go crazy. So, but I'm proud of it. I think it's awesome. So, but if you want to hear, I, and we're fucking with tuning. Sure. If you want to hear twenty four seven, I am Rapport Stereo Podcast. And don't be shy. I know there's a lot of you that I think want to hear twenty four seven of this voice, yes. the golden the golden voice. You go to Tune In Radio. Satellite radio And they have all the radio The thing I like about TuneIn Is they have all the radio stations From across the country So let's say you're in New York And you love your Local radio station In San Francisco You could get that on TuneIn Or when I'm in LA I can listen to all my Local radio stations In New York City There's so much content On TuneIn Right And I have to Respect That they know What they're doing Because only a company That truly knows What they're doing Would have a 24-7 all I Am Rappaport podcast, everything. Yeah, channel. they understand. They know. This needs to be on a loop. So, Moody, what, 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 how are you feeling about Texas so far? Oh, man. I love Texas. I love the weather. We walked around last night. Saw some nice females. Oh, yeah? And uh, love this place, man, so far. Didn't you say you want to, like, uh, go to some juke joints? Yeah, I'm looking for the Black Bottom <laughs> of Austin. What is that? 
you know, in every city in America, you got the, the, the black neighborhood. They call the black bottom, the black belt. Right. And usually that's where the soul food is, the good uh, 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 soul food of that area. You can find that. So you have to go off you the grid. You know that you're not going to find a, like, a local bar where Otis Redding is performing. So it's I not have, like a movie. I have to look for it. Okay, but I'm just saying we're not going to bump. We're not going to walk into a bar and like Al Green at 26 is going to be at a piano tinkering. No. Like I know you, this is not the fucking I find Shaft goes to Austin. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You might as well say that. I, I look for those places. No, I know, I know, I know. But so so far, you haven't sessed anything out. Yeah, I found some shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it tomorrow. I gotta get my shrimp and grits. You know me. Yo, man. A couple of days ago, Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors put on about a clinic with the New York Knicks. Yeah, it wasn't a game. You cannot say that was a a game. Explain, expound. It was like one team playing against like ten year olds. So basically, you're toying around. Like you pass it him, aha, uh-huh. pass it back. <laughs> right? So that's what happened. <laughs> Steph Curry left at halftime, apparently. Steve Kerr and the, and the Golden State Warriors staff, they sent them home at halftime. Yeah. They're like, just, just get just the go, fuck. Yeah, get dressed. You don't have to stay. And he's like, okay, I'll stay on the bench. And they're like, no, we want you to leave. Yeah. He's a good employee. You get time off. We're, we're going to give you a <laughs> But with pay. Yeah. <laughs> They're, they're, and, and, and the crazy thing is They haven't lost one game at home Damn. And neither has the San Antonio Spurs Not one game That's another level of basketball man. Hold on, what the fuck is that? Snare drum. I, you know, one of the origins We blame Williamsburg for the hipster movement One of the true I don't want to say this too loud Because I don't want to get jumped By the, by the, Me too. By the, the hipster crips have the hipsters started gangs? Imagine like the blood, crip, hipsters. <laughs> started gangs. But I think the next band that's going to be performing here is is actually a band called the Hipster Fucks. Oh, man. What a name. The Hipster Fucks. <laughs> Greatness. You know, one of the things that's good about, uh, about just freestyling a podcast like this, you never know when guests might show up. You might run into a guest and... and, and, and you know, like Stan Van Gundy might pop up, yeah. Ilo might pop up, and and Stan Van Gundy, he might be he might be muscling the Detroit Pistons to their first playoff right. spot in a couple of years. I heard he was out here. I gotta tell you, I really like playoff time. It's a great time of the year, but if the team goes farther than the first round, I'm gonna have to miss my seasonal trip to Rio. I mean, everything you've heard about Rio, it's fucking true. I got to tell you something. They got some asses down there, the women and the men. <laughs> they walk around on these beaches, thongs up their asses. Some of these guys are built like Brit shit houses. They call it the carnival. <laughs> I was down there with Jack Sigma one year. <laughs> we, had, we had Jack Sigma, Kelly Trapuca. A couple other guys came down for the trip. They give me the clinics, you know. These kids, they love, they love getting jock straps, t-shirts, game-worn stuff. They don't care. They got nothing. It's a beautiful city. I was on the beach one time with George Gervin, you know, the ice man. He's walking around in his bathing suit. He's looking fantastic. He's got a great shape on him, the ice man. Yeah. Women and men are touching him. They want to put oil all over him. The fucking ice man, he's so calm. All right, we're getting ready to go into TuneIn Radio. And put it down. Over at South by Southwest Film Festival. You can hear us on TuneIn live. Actually live. live, in, live Friday live. and Saturday. Today, Friday and Saturday. Saturday at what time, Jordan? 3 to 6? 4 to 7? We'll be posting about it. Don't worry. 4 to 7. Tune in. 6 to 7.30 on Friday. Live and direct. Me and Monetti and seriously special guests. CIM Report Stereo Podcast. We out.